students who work in our laboratory uh, get a unique experience, I think. We're one of the few labs within chemical engineering that works with radioactive material. They get in there, they're hands-on. We work with them to have their own piece of their project where they can be autonomous and really dig in and answer their own research questions. Working with Dr. Duval is what drew me to this work. Her research is in radiochemical separations, and so I wanted to apply my interest in nuclear fuel and see if we could work together and make a project. What I wanted was a place that I felt valued, and that's what this department gave me. All of my PhD work was done in nuclear forensics. In doing that work, I found out there were other applications of radiochemistry that could more broadly benefit public health. What we ultimately want to do is to separate medical isotopes for maybe medical imaging, cancer treatment, nuclear fuel remediations. We would be able to cut down the separation time from days or hours to just minutes and seconds. Ones specifically that I work with are Theranostics because they're both therapeutic and diagnostic, so they can in real time see the tumor as it's being treated. The other project we have going on, recovering rare earth elements from phosphogypsum. The radioactive waste stored in stacks indefinitely on fertilizer plants. I heard about the phosphogypsum stacks in Florida on NPR. So when I heard that, I thought, oh man, radioactive waste, we could probably remediate that. And that's a very chemical engineering thing to try and you know bring value to a waste product. The first step is to just remove the radioactivity. So this could be mixing it with acid, trying to leach out those radioactive metals, adjusting the pH, changing the conditions a little bit, and then we're gonna send that to a membrane separation system. My research is in um, recovering actinides from used nuclear fuel through electrochemical separations in order to recycle them back into a nuclear reactor. By doing that, we're able to recover those materials as metals and put them back into a fuel form for a nuclear reactor. Something really wonderful that we do in Duval Lab, we start things from scratch. So I was the first person to do the type of polymerization that I do. Being able to have that startup experience is also really great. We develop skills in membrane development, organic synthesis, working with radiation and radiochemical materials, and that's very unique. With those applications, I think that all students leaving this group will have a really great chance of getting a job in almost any field that they would want to go into. For the scientific impact, you know, I would like to change the way that we purify medical isotopes. That's a problem that I've seen since I was a graduate student. Improve that industry, get more treatments, more radiopharmaceuticals out to people. Being a professor is also training students, so for me it's being able to invest in them, making sure that they're finding careers that they enjoy, and developing them as scientists. So if we can do both of those things, then that's a really good career.